It's so empty and echoey. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the last video in the house. Maybe not forever, it's not goodbye forever, but um, it's goodbye for now. I don't know how I feel about this yet. I haven't registered it emotionally because I've been so, so busy for the last month. I haven't really had time to rest and let my head do the thinking, which is fine. I am exhausted though. <laughs> anyway, today I'm gonna be sharing with you an empty house tour. Now that it's empty, I am pretty pleased with how far it's come and it really feels like a home. And I'm so excited that someone else can enjoy this space now and it's not crumbly mess anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I'm sad yet. I might be at some point, but not right now. I'm too tired to be sad. So I'm gonna share with you the house tour and i um, just gonna do this vlog style. So let's start from the front door. Oh, I apologize in advance if it's A, very echoey and B, if it's a bit dark, there's a storm rolling in. So um, I'm gonna do my best. Weird that I can't come back tomorrow and film this, isn't it? Oh, anyway, let's, let's go. Okay, so as you come in the door, this is what you see. We've got the hallway with the original staircase. The banisters are mahogany, they're so pretty. At the top here, we've got all the original trim and details, which I love. It's my favourite thing that I saw when I first walked into the house. I put a glass lampshade here so it wouldn't block out too much of the view, because I think this is probably one of the nicest views in the house. If I turn around, there's the door and big window at the top to let more light in. And don't mind my cactus, I couldn't take him home earlier. He's coming with me. We've got the electrical box that my carpenter made for me. It looks great. So in the hallway, you can turn right and there are two doors. One goes in the dining room and this one to the sitting room. These rooms look massive without my furniture in them. But this is the sitting room. I put up that trim recently and you might remember me doing the fireplace. I think it looks so good in the space. It's not currently a working fireplace, but it could be one day if I get the chimneys uncapped. And I left the mirror. I thought it fit really well in the space. If I spin around, this is what the sitting room looks like. Loads and loads of space in here. There's also a beautiful ceiling rose. It's not fully complete, but um, that was on the to-do list. And I've just got this like glass light fixture here. So spinning around, that's what would be the dining room. You might remember at one point it was my sitting room and then it was my dining room again. And I changed it a lot, but this is what it looks like in here. We've got French doors that go out to the patio, which I love. And I've left the curtains as the walls are really, really tall. There's lots of space in here, two alcoves again. And there is a tiled area where there used to be a fireplace. I saved the mantelpiece from this room and I was going to put it here, but unfortunately there just wasn't enough time Time to sort this section out but the letting agent said it's fine they'll probably put some furniture over that so I'm not too worried I don't love it I wish I could have sorted it but I just couldn't get it done in time the new tenants were selling their house and they wanted to get in really quickly so there were a few things I would have liked to do but couldn't so that was one of them but I think they're just happy to be in the house really <laughs> this is my wonky door um as you can tell it sits a bit off kilter but it's never bothered me it's part of the charm of the house. You can really see the staircase from this angle. I think the details are so pretty and I love the banister. This section of the hallway goes off to the kitchen. I've patched all of the holes where I've put up paintings. Under the stairs here, a lot of people in Victorian homes turn this into like a, a small toilet, but this looks pretty grim, but this is where I used to keep all my tools and paint. So I've left all of the paints that I've used in the house for the new tenants if they wanna patch it before they leave. I don't want them worrying about matching paint colors. Yeah, other than that, it's empty. Not my favorite place in the house, but this is. Oh, this looks so sad without furniture. So this is the kitchen. As you come through, you can see the floors. They were brand new when I got the house done because we had a few problems with the kitchen floor. There are more alcoves over here. And then as you spin around, this is where the cabinetry is. All of my cabinets were from Ikea. The butcher's block top was from Ikea, the sink and the tap also <laughs> Ikea. Guess where the oven and the hob were from? <laughs> 
Ikea. But the handles, I bought them from a store called Heritage Brass and it just makes the space look a little bit less cookie cutter, you know? Actually, all of the door handles are also Heritage Brass. This is what the kitchen looks like. It's just so beautiful. I'm really gonna miss that little view outside the window. I mean, it was nothing special, but it's my little courtyard space with the lights. I'm just gonna miss it. As you can see, I decided not to get up a cabinetry, which in high Hindsight, I kind of regret, but I do love the open shelving. The shelves I bought in a reclamation yard, and you can even see that it's got a logo stamped on the front here, which I think is really cool. I think it adds something a little bit different to the kitchen. This is what it looks like from the utility space, and you can see all the way through the front of the house. Oh, I'm gonna miss this so much. Anyway, moving on, this section is my utility room, it used to be the plant room. <laughs> I've actually sold all of the white goods to the new tenants, so that's great. I've got a little bit of a problem with the floor, but nothing too major, I just had a, a washing machine leak, but uh, yeah, that's what the utility room looks like. And then if we spin around, this is the breakfast nook, and I used to love having my little table here and looking out into the garden, especially when the uh, light would shine onto the floor and it would oh, so pretty i have left them a bin if they want to use it for a few weeks when they first move in they probably don't want it but i just thought it'd be nice to leave them a clean bin and then we have the small wc um this i painted black for some reason which in hindsight probably not the best idea but it does the job and um, i've said to them if they want to paint it they can i actually have never once used this bathroom i kind of just closed the door and forgot about it but yeah that's what that looks like so that's the downstairs. Let's go into the garden. It's pretty windy out here, so I'll keep this fairly quick. That's the door that comes from the dining room and I've left a few plant pots in case they want to fill them. This is the patio area. I use those decking tiles. They actually didn't fare as well as I thought they would. So heads up if you want to use them. I think you need to stain them every few years. But yeah, I used to hate how messy the walls were, but I feel like it kind of gives off like secret garden vibes. As you come up here, there's a little patch of grass and we've got some plants over there. This is the main section of the garden. We've got a shed to the left and some big palms on the right oh it's windy the shed the trees at the back cut out a lot of the sunlight they're in this weird section that nobody really owns so i just end up leaving a lot of this grow over because it just looks kind of um i don't know a little bit more whimsical this section at the back i never found out if this was a bunker or not a lot of people have suggested that it might be it's just a big concrete slab <laughs> with an opening over there so i mean potentially it could have been the house has been here for long enough to warrant having a bunker <laughs> i don't think i've ever shown you this angle but this is the house at the back it's a red brick house it's really cute oh i'm gonna miss it so much anyway let's get in i'm cold okay next let's go upstairs I'm gonna chuck my shoes here because these carpets have been cleaned <laughs> this is what the stairs look like from here I've got a little landing here that goes to the bathroom and the two back bedrooms. I'll show you those last. And then the main landing up here. This area is always very dark. There is a skylight up here that is beautiful. And I always wanted to get it working, but it was always just decorative. It wasn't actually a real skylight. So I never did anything about that. But this I did. This I love. It's an original linen cupboard. I did something fun inside and I wallpapered it. And that's what it looks like. This is so stunning. It's built into the house. I can't take it with me, but <laughs> there it is. At the front of the house, this is one of the rooms that got finished first. This is the bathroom. We've got the gray Laura Ashley tiles. And then this is what it looks like. Had a strange little alcove, so I built some shelves in there. And then it's just a basic bathroom, really. I'm gonna miss the overhead shower. Oh, this is such a nice bath. You will be missed. <laughs> The sink has loads of storage, which has been really handy over the years. And there's the mirror and my little Ikea hag shelving I'm gonna leave as well. So 
So coming back out, let's go to the master bedroom. That is not a paint smudge. I think that's just where the light is hitting really strangely. But this is what the bedroom looks like. Oh, it's so sad seeing it empty. This was my bedroom for a really long time, but I turned it into my office a while ago as it did get a little bit noisy at the front of the house. The bay windows are single pane sash windows and they're beautiful, but they're not great for the noise. I mean, they're not too bad. I just, I don't sleep well. So. That's my fault. I did some inbuilt shelving here, which honestly not my best work, but it was one of my first projects for the house. <laughs> I've learned my lesson with this house and a lot of things that I've done, but they're fine. The bay window is my favorite. Oh, I love it so much. Then we just got a big empty wall here. I do still have a pink door. I was gonna paint this for the new tenants, um, but I've explained to them they can paint it white if they want to. They might leave it, you never know. <laughs> But yeah, this is the master bedroom. Something fun about these houses is that a lot of them have the very same footprint. So you might know a Victorian house that looks quite similar to this, but yeah, this is mine. Let's go through to the second bedroom here. So this was my bedroom for a really long time and it was just perfect. I painted it midnight blue and I ended up leaving the inside of this shelving unit blue when I painted the rest of it white, but it looks a lot bigger and brighter when it's white. It's pretty plain in here at the moment because I'm not in here anymore, but yeah, I've got blackout curtains. I've left the lampshade up as well. That's from Ikea. Let me spin around. <laughs> this is what the other side looks like. A pretty decent sized bedroom. And you can see through this window, out to the garden, which I've always loved. This is a Budlia tree, which is actually a weed and um, it destroys the walls, but it has beautiful purple flowers at the end of the summer. I think you can see some of them down there. So it was always really nice looking out and seeing those and they attract a lot of butterflies. So I'd always look out the window and see the butterflies outside. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. <laughs> Anyway, let's move on. This is the second bathroom. This is just a shower room. I knew I wanted a shower as well as a bath for people who might not have accessibility to a bath. So I put this one in. It's got similar tiles to the front bathroom and a very small sink, but it fits. So uh, it's perfectly fine. It, it works really well. On the paneling, we went for railings by Farrow and Ball and just a plain white at the top. And I went for the black hardware in here, which I really like. A lot of people say the stains really badly but I haven't had any problems with it and I've really really loved how it turned out with the black grout as well. Also got a black shower tray as well to make it match. I'm really happy with how this bathroom turned out. I would do this all over again in another house so... This is where the boiler goes. Uh, you need to take off the screws to access it but there I forgot to fill those. I have to come back tonight. I'm coming back for you. That's what the bathroom looks like. Then through here, I don't know if I've shown you this whole way for a long time. This was like red and white when I first got the house, but I've just painted it cream. And there is a fireplace here. Not a special one, but there is. Coming through here, this is a small bedroom that I did up really recently. It might seem really strange that I did this up just to move out, but I wanted to make it nice for the new tenants and I didn't really spend any money, but yeah, I used paint I already had. Had to do the flooring to make it nice for them. Yeah, this is what it looks like. You can also see the outside from this room too. That's the courtyard from up here. Courtyard, who do I think I am? <laughs> There's that really weird little alcove behind the door. I tried to find like a coat rack in a charity shop to go in here for so many months, but I could never find one. So I just left it empty. But um, yeah, that would have been the perfect solution. This is the pink bedroom coming through here. And this, this is the, the back bedroom. This one's quite echoey and you can hear people next door. So I never liked filming in here because I didn't want to disturb people, but it's got a nice big window left the lampshade up there. There was another fireplace that I never got to uncover. I'd planned to tile this actually, but um, I ended up moving out sooner than I thought. So yeah, there's that. That's what it looks like from this side. And yes, <laughs> there is still a pink door. Once again, I told the new tenants they could paint that if they wanted. There are a few little things I really wanted to do, like added gold handle and stuff but a few things that i would like to do if i had more time always the way but this is what the hallway looks like from down here and then this is what the landing looks like from upstairs it's very dark today so i don't think you get a really good feel of it but yeah that is my beautiful house that's the end of the tour so 
that's it. Feels like the end of an era for me, but I know that my next chapter is gonna be so exciting. It's time to say goodbye to the house. And yeah. <laughs> I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to you if you've watched this process either from the very beginning or even just like a week ago. Um, it means so much to have had all your comments along the way and some really brilliant advice that definitely helped me while I was doing up this place. It was, um, in hindsight, it was a huge amount of work to take on um, with little to no experience, but I'm really pleased because I look back and I think, wow, this room used to be covered in graffiti and now it's a home. So yeah, <laughs> wild. Anyway, it's not goodbye. So I'll see you again sometime, but it's time to go. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>